Okay, so on Instagram recently, I made a post about six things I've learned over the years working as a film composer. Um, there are more than six things I have learned, but uh, these six things in particular, I thought at the time were worth posting about. And I thought I'd make a YouTube film about them as well. So number one, once it works for the image, make it work as music. Okay. This sort of locks in on the concept that the image is the primary thing, um, the narrative, the film. I think when I say image, I don't necessarily mean make some music that aesthetically just works with the image. I mean the narrative, the structure, the emotions, the feelings. Um, make the music say what's needed to be said. Okay, once you've achieved that, then make it work as music. I think it's about priorities. The film, the story, that's the priority. Music has to serve the image. Okay, number two is an orchestration thing. Um, a tutor of mine at the National Film School once said, um, and I will always remember this because it always seems to work, the sweet spot of an instrument is one and a half octaves above its lowest note. So I think this applies to monophonic instruments perhaps and not so much instruments like um, pianos. <laughs> but say if you imagine a clarinet or a saxophone, flute, um, even the human voice, uh, an octave and a half above its lowest note is the sweet spot. So as a composer or orchestrator, you can use that if you want it to sound aesthetically pleasing, then writing for that instrument in that zone, if you want it to sound strained or painful or scary, you know, any of those other emotions, then we can undermine that sweet spot, either extremely low or extremely high, um, such as Stravinsky using the bassoon in the beginning of Rite of Spring. Going to chord four is the biggest emotional shift, harmonically. Um, what I mean by that, it's when we move to four, chord four, that feels like the biggest upheaval emotionally out of all the chords. <laughs> um, it's interesting and worth experimenting, I think, um, it makes it difficult to use chord four, bizarrely, in film because um, often the music is trying to achieve one emotion and going to chord four takes us so far away from that emotion, it, it pushes us into another emotion, which might not be appropriate for the film. One of my most favorite moments in music is in the Ravel Piano Concerto number no. two, the slow movement, which is a very interesting piece of music. Um, if you look at the score and compare the score to the actual notes that are played, the rhythmic aspect is very interesting. My favorite moment though is when the flutes come in and the harmony just shifts to chord four. It's incredible. Think of a director you want to work with, you would like to work with, a director that inspires you. Okay, and when you've thought of that director, look at yourself through the eyes of that director. Look at your CV, look at your IMDb page through the eyes of that director. Would that director want to work with you? It's a fundamental thing, but you have to be careful of your CV, of your IMDb. You have to be careful about what you say yes to and what you say no to. You have to um, take the hit, don't do certain jobs. It'll be financially harder, life will be harder. But that director you wanna work with will see what you've done and maybe think, yeah, actually, uh, that's the one. Okay, number five, um, sort of comes from the world of therapy. Um, uh, I think 
there is one strand of therapy where you, um, through a process of making lists, you work out what your ideal life is. And um, just that process is very interesting. But then you realize that every decision you make is either taking you a step closer to that ideal life or a step away from that ideal life. And the same can be applied to music. What is your ideal music? What is your ideal musical life? Um, do you know what it is? And if you do, understand that every musical decision you make is either taking you one step closer to that or one step further away. Um, everything you do. And this goes back to the previous point uh, in terms of your IMDb listing. And saying yes and saying no. Uh, every decision you make is crucial. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. There's not much more to be said about that really. Um, it's worth remembering. The road is hard and long. <laughs> so uh, you just have to keep making those correct decisions and you'll get to your musical ideal. Okay. Anyway, so those are the six things I, uh, I talked about on Instagram. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and perhaps I can do another one of these films soon with another six things. So this is a new style of upload for me and I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. If um, there's anything you'd like me to talk about in future videos, just let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.